Join me as we meditate on scriptures regarding forgiveness. Psalm 32, verse 1. Blessed, fortunate, prosperous, favored by God, is he whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Proverbs 17, 9. He who covers and forgives an offense seeks love, but he who repeats or gossips about a matter separates intimate friends. Matthew 5, verse 4. Blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace are those who mourn over their sins and repent, for they will be comforted when the burden of sin is lifted. Matthew 9, 13. Go and learn what this scripture means. I desire compassion for those in distress and not animal sacrifice. For I did not come to call to repentance the self-proclaimed righteous who sees no need to change, but sinners, those who recognize their sin and actively seek forgiveness. Mark 11:25. Whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, drop the issue, and let it go, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you your transgressions and wrongdoings against him and others. Luke 6, 21, blessed, joyful, nourished by God's goodness, are you who hunger now for righteousness, actively seeking right standing with God, for you will be completely satisfied. Blessed, forgiven, refreshed by God's grace, are you who weep now over your sins and repent, for you will laugh when the burden of sin is lifted. Romans 4, 7. Blessed and happy and favored are those who lawless acts have been forgiven and whose sins have been covered up and completely buried. Proverbs 10, 12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers and overwhelms all transgressions, forgiving and overlooking another's faults. Colossians 3, 13. Bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgiving each other if one has a cause for complaint against another. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so should you forgive. Ephesians 4, 32. Be kind and helpful to one another, tender-hearted, compassionate, and understanding, forgiving one another readily and freely, just as God in Christ also forgave you. James 1, 19 through 20. Understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters. Let everyone be quick to hear, be a careful and thoughtful listener, slow to speak, a speaker of carefully chosen words, and slow to anger, patient, reflective, and forgiving. For the resentful, deep-seated anger of a man does not produce the righteousness of God, that standard of behavior which he requires from us. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind and helpful to one another, tender-hearted, compassionate, understanding. Again, forgiving one another readily and freely, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Luke 17.3-4 Pay attention and always be on guard, looking out for one another. If your brother sins and disregards God's precepts, solemnly warn him, and if he repents and changes, forgive him. Even if he sins against you seven times a day and returns to you seven times a day and says, I repent, you must forgive him. That is, give up resentment and consider the offense recalled and annulled. Prayers for Forgiveness Psalm twenty-five, eighteen: Look upon my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Psalm 32, 6 Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you for forgiveness in a time when you are near and may be found. Surely when the great waters of trial and distressing times overflow, they will not reach the Spirit in him. Psalm 79, 9. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Rescue us. Forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Daniel nine nineteen. O oh Lord, hear. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, listen and take action. Do not delay for your own sake, O oh my God, because your city and your people are called by your name. Matthew six twelve. And forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. 
letting go of both the wrong and the resentment. Psalm 32, 5. I acknowledge my sin to you, and I did not hide my wickedness. I said, I will confess all my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of all my sin. Selah. Scriptures about God forgiving us. Second Chronicles 7, 14. And my people who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek and crave, require as necessary my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear them from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. First John 1, 9. If we freely admit that we have sinned and confess our sins, he is faithful and just, true to his own nature and promises, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us continually from all unrighteousness, our wrongdoing, everything not in conformity with his will and purpose. Ephesians 1, 7 through 8. In him we have redemption, that is, our deliverance and salvation through his blood, which paid the penalty for our sin and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sin in accordance with the riches of his grace. Colossians 1, 13 through 14. For he has rescued us and has drawn us to himself from the dominion of darkness and has transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption because of his sacrifice resulting in the forgiveness of our sins and the cancellation of sin's penalty. Nehemiah 9.17 They refused to listen and obey, and they did not remember your wondrous acts which you had performed among them. So they stiffened their necks, and in their rebellion appointed a leader in order to return them to slavery in Egypt. But you are a God of forgiveness, gracious and merciful and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness, and you did not abandon them. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Psalm 65, 3. Wickedness and guilt prevail against me, yet as for our transgressions, you forgive them, removing them from your sight. Psalm 85, 2. You have forgiven the wickedness of your people. You have covered all their sin. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 86, 5. For you, O Lord, are good and ready to forgive our sins, sending them away completely letting go of them forever and ever, and abundant in loving kindness and overflowing in mercy to all those who call upon you. Psalm 130, verses 3-4 through four. If you, Lord, should keep an account of our sins and treat us accordingly, O Lord, who could stand before you in judgment and claim innocence? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be feared and worshipped with submissive wonder. 2 Corinthians Chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. For this was my purpose in writing, to see if you would stand the test, whether you are obedient and committed to following my instruction in all things. If you forgive anyone anything, I too forgive that one. And what I have forgiven, if I have forgiven anything, has been for your sake in the presence of and with the approval of Christ to keep Satan from taking advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. Jeremiah 33, 8. I will cleanse them from all their wickedness and guilt by which they have sinned against me, and I will pardon and forgive all their sins by which they rebelled against me. Thank you so much, Lord, for your forgiveness and Jesus for what you did on the cross for us. Help us to live in that humble place of knowing that we have been sinners so that we can graciously, mercifully, and be and quickly forgive other people. Help us to become a people who are known for our quickness of mercy. In the name of Jesus, amen.